by way of review, enthalpy change of combustion calculations center around two main equations. The first equation is Q equals to mc delta T. Q is the energy absorbed or released by a substance that we are measuring the temperature change of. M is the mass of the substance that we are measuring the temperature of. And C is the substance's specific heat capacity. Delta T is of course a change in temperature. In an experiment where we are measuring the change in temperature of water as a way to calculate the energy absorbed or released, then M is the mass of water, C is the specific capacity of water, and this is given as 4.18 times 10 to the power of 3 joules per kilogram of water per Kelvin of temperature change. Assuming there's no experimental losses or gains of energy, the Q calculated from the first equation can be used in the second equation to calculate the molar enthalpy change of combustion by simply dividing by the number of moles of a particular substance that was used in combustion. There's a negative in the equation to account for the transfer of energy. If a particular chemical reaction is exothermic, then this energy is released and then further absorbed by a mass of water. And that's why Q here is positive. Vice versa, if the enthalpy change of our reaction is positive, that is if it's endothermic, then this energy will be taken away or absorbed from the water that we are measuring the temperature of. So in this case, your delta H will be positive and your Q here will be negative. A student combusted 10 grams of butanol to heat up 150 milliliters of water. The table shows the initial and final temperatures of the water. And we can see that the initial temperature has risen from 24 degrees Celsius to 45.5 degrees Celsius. Calculate the experimental value for the molar enthalpy of combustion for butanol, and assume there's no energy lost to the surrounding. But we know that the molar enthalpy of combustion is equal to minus Q over N, where Q is the amount of energy absorbed by the water. We can first find the moles of butanol that was used for the combustion, which is given by the mass of butanol divided by the molar mass. The molecular formula of butanol is C4H10O. Four carbons, 10 hydrogens, and one oxygen. So the moles is equal to 10 grams divided by the molar mass of butanol, four times by carbon's molar mass, plus tens by hydrogen's molar mass, plus 16, which is for oxygen. This gives 0 0.135 moles of butanol. We can also use a temperature change to calculate the amount of energy that's absorbed by the water. And this is given by the formula of Q equals to mc delta T. The mass of water is given by its volume. Record that the density of water is one gram per one mil, which means in 150 milliliters of water, there are exactly 150 grams. So here I'll be using 0.15 kilograms of water. The specific capacity is 4.18 times 10 power 3 joules per kilogram of water and per Kelvin of temperature change. Because the unit of the heat capacity is per kilogram, this is the reason why I've used kilograms for the mass of water. And this is multiplied by the change in temperature, which is 21.5 kelvins or degrees Celsius. This gives an energy of 13,480.5 joules. And therefore, the molar heat of combustion of butanol is minus 13480.5 because there are no energy loss to the surrounding, divided by the moles of butanol combusted, which is 0.135 moles. This gives a value of 9.99 times 10 to the power of 4 joules per mole. Calculate the mass of ethanol that must be burnt to increase the temperature of 210 grams of water by 65 degrees Celsius if exactly half of the heat released by the combustion is lost to the surrounding. The heat of combustion of ethanol is 1367 kilojoules per mole. To start the question, let's draw a rough diagram to understand the transfer of energy in this experiment. So we have a tripod elevating a beaker of water that is 210 grams. And beneath the tripod, we have a spirit burner that contains ethanol. When the ethanol enters combustion, it will release some amount of energy, part of which goes towards the water, which is absorbed, and the other half will go towards the surrounding. So 50% of the energy is lost, while the other 50% is being absorbed by the water. We can start the question by using Q equals to mc delta T 
to first determine the amount of energy that was absorbed by the water using the temperature change. So Q is equal to the mass, which is 210 grams. But remember, we have to convert into kilograms because of the heat capacity we're about to use. That is 4.18 times 10 to the power 3 joules per kilogram of water per Kelvin. The change in temperature here is 65 degrees Celsius or Kelvins. This gives us an energy increase of 57,057 joules absorbed by water. The next part is to consider the equation enthalpy change equals to minus Q divided by moles of ethanol. Now, keep in mind that this Q in the equation is not necessarily the same as the Q in the first equation. The first Q is the energy absorbed by the water, whereas this Q is the energy produced by the spirit burner or the combustion reaction. In this experiment, only half of the energy from the spirit burner has been absorbed by the water. So this energy that we calculated, the 57,000, that's only half the energy produced. So we have to multiply this number by 2 to find out the original amount of energy released by the combustion. So we can say that Q released by the combustion is actually equal to 57057 times by 2 which is approximately 114,114 joules. We know that the heat of combustion of ethanol is minus 1367 kilojoules per mole. This is equal to the energy, which is 114, 114 joules. We need to make sure that in the same equation, the unit of the heat of combustion and the energy that's produced have the same units. So this is in kilojoules per mole, so therefore this also must be in kilojoules. And we divide this by the number of moles. So moles equals to 0 0.0835 moles. Finally, to find the mass, we can multiply the moles by the molar mass of ethanol. 0 0.0835 moles multiplied by the molar mass given by the question, 46.068 grams per mole and this gives us a mass of 3.85 grams and I'll leave this as three significant figures. 1.67 gram sample of ethanol with a molar mass provided is burnt to raise the temperature of 58.4 grams of an organic substance from 25 degrees Celsius to 48 degrees Celsius. It is important to notice how in this particular scenario the combustion of ethanol is not used to heat water, but rather an organic substance, whose specific capacity will be different to that of water. The heat of combustion of ethanol is 1,367 kJ per mole. If 30% of the heat is lost to the surrounding, calculate the specific capacity of this organic substance. For this particular question, we are already given the mass of ethanol used in combustion. So we can use this information to calculate the total amount of energy produced from combustion. Therefore, the mole of ethanol is given by the mass, 1.67 grams, divided by its molar mass of 46.068 grams per mole. This gives 0.0363 moles of ethanol. We can then calculate the amount of energy released from the combustion by multiplying the molar enthalpy of combustion, which is 1,367, kilojoules per mole multiplied by 0.0363 moles. This gives minus 49.6 kilojoules, which is equal to minus 49,600 joules of energy. If 30% of heat is lost to the surrounding, then 70% of heat is absorbed by the organic substance, which results in a temperature increase from 25 degrees to 48 degrees. Therefore, the amount of energy absorbed can be calculated by multiplying 49,600 joules by 70%. And this is equal to 34,700 joules of energy. Notice how when I'm calculating the energy absorbed, I have gotten rid of the negative sign because a negative sign indicates that the energy has been released. So if I'm calculating the energy that's absorbed, I can take the same number but replace the negative sign with a positive sign. Now I can use the equation Q equals to mc delta T to work out the specific capacity of the organic substance. 34,700 joules of energy absorbed 
the mass of the organic substance is 58.4 grams times by the heat capacity and times by the temperature change, which is 48 degrees minus 25 degrees. This gives a specific heat capacity of 25.8 joules per gram of the organic substance and per Kelvin of temperature change. And we'll leave this in three significant figures. A 10.5 gram sample of premium 1 is burnt to heat 300 milliliters of water at 25 degrees. The maximum temperature was recorded to be 82.5 degrees Celsius. The heat of combustion is 1525 kilojoules per mole. At what percentage of energy was lost to the surrounding? Show calculations. We will have enough information to find the energy absorbed by the water, which is equal to the mass of water times by the heat capacity times by the change in temperature. The mass of water is 300 milliliters converted to grams, which is 300 grams, which is 0.3 kilograms. 0.3 multiplied by 4.18 times 10 power 3 times by changing temperature, which is 82.5 minus 25. This gives me an energy of 72,105 joules that was absorbed by the water. In this question, we are also given enough information to calculate the amount of energy that was produced by the combustion of prep and one So first of all, we can find the moles of the alcohol that was combusted by dividing its mass by the molar mass. The mass used was 10.5 grams divided by the molar mass of 60.094. This gives a mole of 0.175 moles. Using the enthalpy change of combustion, we can calculate the energy that was released from the combustion reaction, which is minus 1525 multiplied by 0.175. This gives approximate value of minus 266 kilojoules of energy, and this is equivalent to minus 266,000 joules of energy. You can see that the energy released is far more the energy that was absorbed by the water. The difference in your energy amount is lost to the surrounding. So you can say that the energy that was lost is equal to the amount that was released in the beginning, subtract the amount that was absorbed by the water. So this is approximately 194,000. So the percentage of energy lost is equal to 194,000 divided by the initial energy that was produced times by 172.9%, three significant figures.